What's up, Feature Millionaires? I'm your host, Mike the Investor. And in this video, we're going to discuss how much I invested in the Drip Network. Full transparency on how much Drip I purchase at each time, leading all the way up to what my average cost is. Now, I'm going to more so focus on my first wallet, but I'm also going to show you what my second wallet is as well and how much I invested in that also. So let's jump into it. Now, as we can see, the current price of Drip is around 43 cents so it is still holding around that 40 cent support level which is good as we're getting closer and closer for utility to get released for drip itself now as you can see from my first wallet here i have around 19,022 drip which is right over 8100 dollars now i invested more than this so you're going to see that i'm actually down a nice amount on this investment so if we look at the second wallet real quick, you can see I have over 3,400 in this wallet, which is right under 1,500 in this particular wallet. Now, if we head on over to the Google Sheets here, this is my very first wallet here in Drip. And as you can see, going all the way back to when I first invested in Drip, February of 2022, all the way down to the last time I purchased, which was December 29th, 2022 at a 95 cent Drip price. So as you can see in this column, this is telling you how much, how many drip I got for the amount I invested. And then this is going to tell you the price I invested as well. Now, if you look right here on the average cost, this average cost does not include um, any compounding, right? This is just DCA and this is just everything I purchased. So you can see right here, I put in just a little bit over 15 K into this particular wallet, which has purchased me 2029 drip in this particular wallet. Now, if we include all of my hydrating, right? Because you can see I've only purchased a little bit over 2000, but if you look at this wallet here, you can see I have over 19,000. So over 17,000 drip that I've actually compounded. So if you look back over to the Google sheet, you can see my true average cost, including all of my different times I purchased and also every single time I've compounded, my average cost is actually around 79 cents. But you can also see I'm down a nice amount, pretty much almost 50% give or take on this investment. You can see right around 15K. And if you look at what this is, it's right around 8,100. So I'm down about, you know, 55% give or take on this investment, right? So if we look at the second wallet, 3,400 drip. You can see right under 1500 head over to the second wallet here you can see i've invested a total of 1615 1615 in this wallet which has purchased me 1602 drip now looking at my average cost not including my compounding just these purchases here gives me an average cost of a dollar and my true average cost which includes everything with me compounding is around 47 cents right and so this is why you can also see i'm a little bit closer to at least breaking even because that average cost is a little bit closer right so if you look right here 1455 and you can see i've invested 1615 so you can see i'm down a little bit on this as well now as we take a look at drip you can see i have the drip price around 44 cents you can see how many drip i have 19,022, and 39 days out a little bit over a month this wallet will be maxed out which would be a little bit over 27,400, which is the maxed out wallet now it doesn't matter if you go over a little bit more the max you can get paid out is 100k drip so that means you may get a little bit more each day because you have a little bit more in your deposit but it's not going to mess up anything and so i just wanted to show you all that i didn't want to put any more into this wallet because it's so close to maxing out and then also with that being said i always talk about using risk capital i put in 15k here and i've also put in 1600 here so over 1600 i put into just the drip faucet just in these two wallets right so i'm in a sense i've reached my threshold you know on what i'm actually going to invest in the drip faucet i'm gonna let it do its thing and see what happens in the future as i get ready to max out this wallet right here so one thing i briefly want to talk about regarding risk capital now when you have a certain amount of risk capital that you're willing to invest in a project it is wise to make sure you don't go over that right you don't want your emotions to get involved and when you stay in line with how much risk capital you have even if you're down on that investment it makes it a little bit easier to deal with because you didn't 
overly invest yourself where it's actually money you need and so as i said at the beginning when i got into drip you guys are either going to see me make a decent amount of money or you're going to see me lose some money right now i'm actually down a nice amount as i showed you for transparency but as we get closer to my max wallet which is in about 39 days as we saw on the screen Hopefully we have at least some utility out for drip. Of course, we know we've had delays and things of that nature, but hopefully come May, we have something out. Rather it's the cross chain uh, swap, rather it's the new UI, rather it's drip drop draw or all of that. Hopefully we have something that at least is out by that time to get the ball rolling. And so at that time, that's when I will really be focusing on what is the price of drip at that time when I hit a max wallet. But I appreciate all of the support drip community. Definitely smash that like button and I will catch you guys on the next one.